skill and decoration system has changed. It's not the same that it was in MHGU, and for that reason it could be hard to understand for the hunters that came from said game. In this video we're going to explain what are the main differences between both skill systems, how the decoration system works and how to add the decorations in Monster Hunter Rise. Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate is a classic Monster Hunter game, and that means that the skill system works in the same way that always had. To get the characteristics of a certain skill you must reach a minimum of 10 points to activate it. That's not the case anymore, at least in Monster Hunter Rise. Now each skill point is important. As more points are level in the set, more powerful the skill becomes. Let's see a few examples. As you can see, Attack Boost has a skill activation of 7 levels. Each level increases slightly its overall effect up until you reach the last one, which is highly unlikely, and even though you can do it if you want to, it's not exactly recommended because it's more efficient to mix up different skills than to focus all your armor and slots in only one skill, like Attack Boost. The next example is Latent Power. This time instead of having 7 levels the skill has 5. Each level moderately increases or decreases the effect of the skill. The last example is Weakness Exploit. The skill divides itself only into 3 levels, but each level increases or decreases the effect of the skill greatly and for instance is harder to find an armor or talisman with this specific skill. Moving forwards to a matter that's also confusing, at least at the beginning, for the MHGU's Hunters, Monster Hunter Rise Decorations and Slots. Decorations, as before, divide themselves into three levels and as the level increases so does the space they use to fit in the set. That hasn't changed at all. The thing that has changed is how the slots works. In this game, the slots also have three levels, like the decorations. That's a big difference between MHGU and Monster Hunter Rise. So, how does it work? We've already pointed out that each decoration and slot have a set level from 1 to 3. Decorations with a higher decoration level will activate more powerful skills, but decorations can only be equipped in slots with the same slot level or above. What does that mean? It means that you can set a level 3 decoration only into a level 3 slot but not into a level 2 or level 1. The same rule applies to the level 2 decorations, it can be added to a level 2 and level 3 but not into a level 1. Level 1 can be added to any slot level. That means that I can add more than one decoration into a level 2 and level 3 slot? No, that's not possible. You only can set one decoration, it doesn't matter the level, into one slot. So, it can only be set three decorations maximum. For every piece of gear in your set, the decorations will unlock as you progress through the game. To create decorations, go to the smithy, decorations, create decorations. As in previous games, the smithy will ask for Zenies, Monster Materials and Bloodrun or Aquaglow Jewel. You can get Bloodrun Jewel as a quest reward by hunting the most difficult monsters in the game. However, there's some monsters and quests where do you have more chances to get it than others. Aquaglow Jewel is easier to get than Bloodrun Jewel. Without anything more to add, we hope the guide has helped you to further understand the new skill and decoration system in Monster Hunter Rise. Good hunts.